गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम शबीना फातमा वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट पी सी आर पी सी आर डैट इज पॉलीमरेस चेन रिएक्शन इट इज द टेक्निक फॉर एम्प्लीफिकेशन ऑफ डी एन एस सेगमेंट एंड इट वॉज फर्स्ट डिस्क्राइब इन नाइनटीन एटी PCR polymerase chain reaction it is basically an enzymatic process and it is used for the amplification of a specific region of dna means that particular region which we selected that specific region is replicated again and again to make its copies so at the end of this PCR reaction millions of copies can be created using this thermal cycler is the instrument which is used for performing the pcr reaction pcr process is known as thermal cycler so at the end of the process we can get millions of copies of dna segment so how pcr can be performed so the basic steps in pcr experiment are as follows hot start hot start denaturation annealing extension and temperature so these are some of the basic steps of pcr first of all we have to take the dna template which we want to amplify then set the thermal cycler at a temperature of 94 degrees celsius at this temp at this temperature the two strands of dna got separated they got denatured at 94 degrees celsius then then the second step is annealing means we can set the temperature to around 50 to 60 degree celsius at this temperature the two separated dna segments the two separated dna strands we have two separated dna strands at this temperature the primers got attached to the separated strands there are two primers the forward primer and the reverse primer they get they got attached to the individual dna strands and then the process of extension begins means once these primers got attached they 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 are what they are oligonucleotides these primers are oligonucleotides means these are small dna fragments which binds to the dna template and once they got bind the synthesis of new dna occur but at a temperature of 74 degree celsius dna tag polymerase dna polymerase attached to this primer and then the further elongation extension process begins and at the end of the process the four dna strands we got four dna strands means the first when we start we have only one dna template but at the end of the reaction we have four dna strands so we can repeat this cycle for many times because we want many number of copies of dna so we have already discussed about the steps denaturation annealing extension end temperature so when various steps occur when when we perf when we use this pcr machine and when we run this thermal cycler for around 32 cycles then we got billions of copies of dna 
of interest so pcr can be used for dna isolation also means we have long we have long dna template and we want to we want a specific segment of dna to be amplified for that what we should do we should do pcr polymerase chain reaction if we do pcr then that particular region will be copied and we can we we can have so many copies of that particular dna at the end of the reaction in pcr as we have already discussed that it is an enzymatic process and only the specific region of dna is replicated over and over again to get many copies of particular sequence we can use uh, we can use pcr for gene isolation we can get that particular gene and then we can do pcr then we can get so many copies of it and pcr the whole process occurs in a thermal cycler so pcr is basically used for the amplica amplification of dna fragment so friends this is all about pcr if you like the video then please do like share comment and subscribe to my channel thank you जय हिंद